Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, what's up? So today I thought I would share with you guys my tanning routine. This video is for anybody who's looking for a nice sunless tanner or just looking for a way to have like a nice golden glow all year round for an event, whatever. Or for anybody who's looking for a review on the Loving Tan Ultra Dark Mousse. So yeah guys, so this is the tanner that I use. It is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. It's an instant bronzer, self tanner, and moisturizer. I used to actually tan in a tanning booth years ago and that's just a whole different animal. That's just not good. So if you're looking for a nice alternative and you just wanna be healthier about it and you wanna maintain a nice healthy looking glow, consider this Loving Tan. So far, um, I've used quite a few self tanners and this one's my favorite. The one I was using right before this was Bondi Sands, which was pretty good, but uh, this tops everything, I love it. Guys, this was about $40 and it lasts quite a while. I don't use it like every week, I just don't. I try to make it stretch, so I probably use this every other week. I just need to point out that this is a natural tanner. It's made from natural ingredients, which is always a plus, and um, it's got an aloe vera base, so it is very hydrating. And I seem to struggle with self tanners just drying out my skin really bad. So this seems to be pretty good. I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick. And uh, the first thing I wanna do is exfoliate my body so that the tan just clings right to it and you don't want any scaly dead skin on you or else you're gonna look like a dried up snake and nobody likes that. You can really use any exfoliator you want. Um, but I did get for free this mitt right here and it's there's two sides to it one is like a gentle exfoliator one's more intense i think the black yeah the black side's a little more intense which i love this side it really works so um yeah i think you can get this for free using like the code free mitt or the the code loving tan but either way i'll put it down below the code you can use to get this for free okay guys so now i'm all exfoliated up and if I look a little bit red, it's because I literally always take scalding hot showers, like ridiculously hot showers, and it usually um, burns my skin a little bit. Right now, you don't want to put any moisturizers on or anything like that. You want to keep your skin nice and dry so it can absorb and develop properly. However, to help prevent like your elbows and your knees and maybe like some parts of your hand from um, patching up, you can lightly use a moisturizer, like a very light little tiny bit on those areas, just those rough areas. But mine feel pretty smooth, so I'm not too worried about it. So I usually just don't use any moisturizer at all. And what you're gonna need is you're gonna need yourself like a nice mitt to apply it with. Super soft side, you definitely wanna use a mitt. I don't care what anybody says. You don't wanna use your hand. You're gonna stain up your hand. You're gonna look ridiculous and it's not a smooth application, okay? So, I just do my whole body. Um, I'm just gonna show you a quick little bit, real quick, right now, just so you could see what it looks like, like before and after, because it is an instant tan, you will see it. Um, and then when it's time for your back, I get James to do my back, but they do sell, if, if it's just you and you gotta do your own back, no one's around, they sell like a back applicator. So, never tried it, so I don't know how it works, but uh, if you have, comment down below. Let's try this out. So again, I am using the Ultra Dark, okay? And it is a quick dry, yes it is, I can vouch for that. It does dry very fast. This is a six hour developer but they do sell a two hour express that I'm looking into. Um, it's just $20 more, so instead of 40, it's $60. Um, but I didn't see them, I didn't see it in an ultra dark color, which I like the ultra dark. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it, but I do. There's no parabens in this at all, no alcohol, which is good. And that's what it looks like. So it's foamy action going on right here. Okay, so I just do one pump to start. And now guys, usually I do this um, in the nude, but you know, I'm trying to show you guys how to do this, so. All right, um, okay, so let me just do this arm real quick just so you guys can see the difference. Here we go, first swipe, ready? Okay. Guys, feel free to layer this up. I know I do, okay? I'll do maybe a couple coats just to be extra dark. 
it does go on pretty smooth but if it does look a little bit streaky it won't for long when you shower it off it'll usually just kind of smooth itself out and the <laughs> honestly the best thing about this stuff is it smells amazing in my opinion this has a very very light like perfume like it's almost like a it's a very pleasant smell, put it that way. It's not like extreme like coconut or anything that's gonna do to make you gag after a while. I never get tired of this smell. It smells really nice. And you just like do long strokes like this. What I do is I just take the remainder of whatever might be left on the mitt and just like kind of rub it into my face a little bit gently. Just kind of warm it up. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the top of my hands and the top of my feet. Just whatever the remainder of this is, I'm just gonna kinda smooth it out onto the hands. I do love this color. It is like a nice olive tone. So it's not crazy, crazy dark. It's just more of like a nice natural glow. So clearly you can see the difference. Like, yeah, it is a pretty significant difference. And this is just like one coat. This is a little insane of me to be wearing a white t-shirt while doing it, but I do want to say I wear a lot of white things and I have white bed sheets and if you're wondering if it gets on it, it does. Without a doubt, like it'll rub off onto it. Not a crazy amount, but you will see it. But the plus side is it does come out when you wash it and especially if it is a white that you're using, just add a little bit of bleach to your wash and I noticed my, my whites are coming out really nice, so it does not stain, which is good. Okay guys, so now that you have an idea of how it's applied and what it looks like when it's applied, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up the rest of my body. And um, yeah, then after that, you just kind of wait it out for six hours, chill, do whatever. So you do need to set aside some time, but luckily for me, I don't have a life. So, uh, yeah, so I'll see you in six hours. Okay guys, so it's been a hot minute. I think it's been over six hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse this off. You can see already it's developed into a deep dark tan. Yeah, you can see looking a little bronzed up here now. I don't usually put any on my face, but I did this time. I kinda wanna see how it turns out. I have done it before and it seems to work well and it doesn't really make me break out. So I'm going to shower it off and then give you guys the final results. Alright guys, so this is the final look. This is the final tan. As you can see, it looks a little smoothed out. It looks better than it did before. Um, when you do shower off, it definitely does take off like a layer or two of that really intense dark look. But overall, I think it's better. I just think it looks a little more natural this way. For me, the tan will probably start fading after about like four or five days. If you want your tan to last a little longer, I would suggest definitely not exfoliating your body because that'll just rub it right off. And honestly, don't take too long of showers. I gotta work on that because I take literally like 20 minute long hot showers. So I think that's why my tan fades so fast, but I think it's supposed to last you like at least a week or so. Again, I was using the ultra dark, but they also do have it in just like a regular dark or a medium for those of you with just naturally lighter skin. This is my tanning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And for those of you who are torn between the Bondi Sands or the Loving Tan, my personal opinion, I tried both and I like the Loving Tan better. So um, comment down below if you would like to see a comparison video because I could definitely tell you the pros and cons of both. But as of right now, I, I love this tanner. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.